Greetings, everybody. Uh, I've had so many people ask me uh, about doing like a video uh, and setting up a VPS. And so, you know, I've tried a few VPS servers and just had problems. Um, I had problems with all of them. And so I finally found um, Vermac, Vermac, Vermac. I'm not quite sure how it goes, but um, kind of a silly name. But anyway, I, this is who I've been using and uh, it's been, it's been going very well. So I figure I'll go ahead and show you guys kind of a Cliff Notes video. I'm not going to go into every little click and every little detail. I figure if you're into crypto, you probably have a decent idea how to do some of this stuff. Um, and it's very easy, like what I do. So um, <clears throat> so here's what we're going to do. So basically, I go to, uh, you'll have the little affiliate link. Yeah, I'll use the affiliate link because why not? Um, I've been using these guys for a while now. And... Uh, I go, so when you go click the link, you come here to the VPS and go cheap Windows VPS. Okay. And I personally set up this one. Um, I think I might have upgraded this a little bit because the one I got is actually, I think it's $13 a month. So I got this one, so I put order. So basically, this is a two CPU core. 35 to 75 gig, two terabyte of bandwidth, um, all of this. Okay, so so you click order, and da, 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 da. this is where. So I I know I use Buffalo, New York. That was their main um, their main hub. You want to try and pick one that's closer to yourself. Um, <clears throat> it doesn't matter that much, really, uh, in the grand scheme. I don't think, but. Um, I just picked one closest to me, and let's see, I'm pretty sure, yeah, so that was it, there, premium support and management, DDO has high CPU, dedicated cores, okay, so that was that, so basically, just go through, um, oh, that's what I did, I added, I went with the 50, uh, 50 gig SSD, just in case, like if I'm running multiple bot instances, or... I decide I want to do anything else. So add that to cart. Make your purchase. You're going to get some emails. You're going to confirm. Um, and then you're going to set everything up. So should I do that? Uh, I'm trying to think if I should set up a new account and like walk you through everything. But I don't really think I'm going to need to because I don't remember there being anything overly complicated. Um, so once you've set all this up and you've paid for your account, you're going to... You're going to get some emails, um, you know, confirming your, your order or whatever. And then you're going to get a couple links to basically the the admin, like the login. Um, so once you logged in, and I have, I have there's nine signups in here. So once you logged in, you're going to end up at a page like this. Okay, this is basically your services. So services, my services, it'll take you here. This is my... Um, this is my VPS. So when I click this, you'll see mine's online. And I'm pretty sure that like when you first purchase, uh, yours might be online instantly. It might take a few minutes to come up. Um, but before I did anything else, I just click VNC desktop. Okay. And this is how... I got everything on here that I needed. So what the first thing I did, so when you first log in, this, I'm already connected to this server on TeamViewer. So when you first log in, you might have to click the control alt delete and then enter your admin password and then it'll take you to this screen. Okay. And I'm making sure that I'm not given, oh wait, let me make sure you can see that. No. Okay. You can't see that. So hold on a second. Um, all right, hold on. Capture. There we go. All right. So this is what I'm talking about. So when you click on the VNC desktop, you'll get this screen. And, and you can continue to use it this way if you don't like TeamViewer for any reason. I know some of you guys may not. I really like TeamViewer, and I, I set it all up the way I need it. Um, I'm not going to explain exactly how I set mine up because that's really neither here nor there. But um, and I don't want to give anybody cues on anything they might want to do to try and hack it or whatever. But um, so once you're in here, 
Um, what you need to do, the first thing you're going to need to do is install the latest Java. Okay. So, <clears throat> hold on, let me go back to the, where's that window? All right. So, and this screen needs to be bigger. And, all right. So, as you can see, I've got my team viewer down here. Um, I did install the Notepad++ because that's what I use to edit my Crobot files. Um, and it came with um, it came with uh, Chrome already set up and installed for me, which is really nice. But what the, what the first thing you're going to need is install Java. So we'll install Java. I'll show you where to go. So plug in Java, free Java software download. Uh, because to run this, you, uh, you're you going to need the latest version. So if you're running the latest version of Profit Trailer, you're going to need the latest version of Java as well. And so you'll just go through that. Uh, I don't think I need to show you how to, you know, click this and approve everything. So I won't waste the time. But then once that's done, then you might want to, if you want to, if you want to, <clears throat> if you just want to use the VPS like this, you can. You're already set up. And then all you have to do, quite honestly, is just drag your folder. Um, you can just drag your, your profit trailer folder directly onto the desktop here uh, just drag it over and it'll copy all the files over and you're good to go it's 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 that simple um, now I know I can do that with team viewer so if you if you like team viewer and see I like team viewer because it's easy for me technically yes you can log into um, you can log into uh, okay so you can log into this and from anywhere and access your VPS using this VNC desktop and that's fine. I just like TeamViewer because it just makes things a lot easier. I don't have to log into this website first and I manage a few different things with my TeamViewer at different places so uh, it just makes things a lot easier for me. Okay, but that's honestly about all there is to it. And then once you've set it up, um, like I know this sounds super simple and there really isn't anything else to it to be honest with you guys it's not it's not complicated I know some people like to try and use command prompts and this and that I don't deal with any of that I, I you know I like things to be simple so uh, I get a Windows server and and I set up team viewer and I'm set up in five minutes now I will say this uh, and this is something that I that I encountered on multiple like every VPS server that I tried to set up on prior to this, the server time kept changing and would shut down randomly. And I would email support and then they would be like, oh, well, good. jump through this hoop, jump, jump through that hoop. And they'd start running me rampant. Instantly, I'd cancel. I'm like, you suck. I, I can't. I don't have time to deal with that. These guys, the same thing happened. And I sent in a support ticket and I said, look. So after the first time, they said, okay, well, we, it was like tier one support. And they said, well, here you, you should be good to go. And I and I logged in and the time was still changed. So I sent back another um, ticket and I said, look, here's the deal. You know, this is I'm this is what I'm doing with this VPS. It needs to work. I've already canceled three different accounts. Um, you guys have one more shot to make sure that this never happens again or I'm going to have to cancel. I'm sorry. And he flagged it as a tier three support issue. And then within 30 minutes, they fixed it. They, they said, hey, this is what we did. We took care of this and that. And another thing that should never happen again. Sorry for the inconvenience. And it's been running like a champ ever since. It has yet to close down. So, um, so yeah, the, just the support is really good. Um, and so just knowing this moving forward, like when you set this up, if you have issues with the time changing or it's shutting down, just send a support ticket um, and um, they'll, they'll take care of it. And let them know like, hey, um, you know, we were referred here by Crypto Crow or whatever, um, you know, because I think anytime I've submitted a support ticket, it's like one of a couple people. So they're going to be aware of the issue now moving forward. I'm sure you say, hey, I'm running a bot. I don't want this to shut down on me. Um, do what you did on Crypto Crow's account. And they'll be like, OK, and they'll know exactly what to take care of. Not that you should even have to do that. I, I doubt you will. Uh, for those of you asking questions about how much does the bot use and bandwidth? 
it's used 381 gigs of of almost two terabytes so far since I started it up. So it uses a lot of back and forth, and I have set up a second instance. So uh, because I'm trying to do um, USDT versus uh, Bitcoin swing trading, which is not very active at all. It's just because the price keeps going down, so it's not like doing anything yet. But I'm trying to capitalize on the swings of Bitcoin using uh, Tether. So we'll see if that works out. If it does, I'll show everybody exactly how I did that. I'm doing that on Binance. So I'll keep you guys updated. Like, it's honestly, here, I'll even show you. Like, it's not really doing a whole hell of a lot. And I'm not using a lot of money for it either to test it. So let me see where we at here. Yeah, here we go. So um, I'm going to close this since we don't need it. And yeah, I was looking at my DCA bags, um, possible buy log. I'm in sell only mode on this. This is actually the my main bot, and I've taken some money out of here to put on to Binance to do this and experiment with it. But Jesus, I mean, it's down 13%. I mean, it's at 12,500. So this isn't doing much. It's waiting. I think it's waiting for a crossover to buy in and ride the wave. So for as long as this keeps going down, this isn't going to do anything. But um, so yeah, but this is my Binance uh, swing trade. So it's not even, it's not even good. I've only got this set for one pair, which is USDT and BTC. And it's not even looking at it right now because it just keeps going down more. So that's that. And as, as this improves, if this starts picking up some good swing trades and improving my tether position, I'll do a video showing you guys exactly what my settings are for this. Very similar to what I'm doing here. It's just with one pair on Binance, and the Binance settings are different. Um, so, look, hopefully this was helpful, and, um, you know, it, it helps get you guys set up on a VPS. I assure you it's very easy. Just make sure you go with a Windows server, set up Team Viewer, and it really couldn't get more simple. All right? If you have any specific questions, I will be watching the comments. Um, like if you run into something and you're like, oh, he didn't talk about this. I know I didn't walk through click for click setting up a brand new account. Um, if I have to do that, I guess I will. But I know that it's such a simple process. I didn't feel it was necessary. Once you set up, dive in. Now, it is more complicated on some of these other companies. Um, and especially if you're trying to do something outside of using a Windows server. Uh, but, you know, that's pretty much it in a nutshell, all you got to do. So hopefully this is real helpful to you guys. And uh, I'll be watching comments to try and help you if you have any specifics. Thanks. See ya.